practices, objectives, correcting, organizing, and evaluating data, making deductions and reaching conclusions, testing the conclusions to determine whether we created a validating hypothesis and uh, objectives. So you can see in this definition that research is very tedious. It is it is involving the concept of the concept of um, it is involving the concept of uh, statistics. It is involving the concept of statistics. So why do people do research? People do research because of various reasons, depending. On the need. For example, somebody may have to do research because of academia, for example, because you need a certificate. There is a requirement that for you to get a diploma, you have to produce to have a research project. You have to do a master's in a PhD at any level of uh, education. So the other reason people do research is for the purpose of desire to face the challenges in solving the unsolved problems. The other reason is desire to get interaction or joy of doing some creative work. The other reason is desire to be of service to the society beyond to pay back. The other reason is for the purpose to get fame, to be respected. And the other reason why people do research work is because the directive of the government, the demand of the employment, the job, the product makes you have to do a standard for you to be relevant in that business. So uh, the other reason is for the purpose that you have something, a feeling, you have some thoughts, you have some beliefs, uh, you have some observations, but you want to validate them scientifically, then that is to validate your intuition. The other one is improved methods. Let's say a certain study was done using a certain type of method of study. You want to do it in another way due to either demand of technology, new discoveries, then you see that problem in another perspective. So that is another reason people why like the, 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 uh, research methods. So the other reason is the demand of the job. There's the customer, the product demand. And the other reason is for the purpose of publication and the patent so that you can own and they can have value and they can also be published in media uh, reputable uh, journals for the purpose of reference. So, uh, Choosing the subject of study depends on so many areas. For example, if your idea is what determines the subject, there's a, um, your experience on that field also determines the subject you have to choose. There's a, uh, on all matters, the extent you have read the books also determines the subject you have to do in, in research. The other uh, reason why people do research is uh, to choose subjects is depending on the originality. Do you originate? from that environment where that study you want to do is based. Eh? So uh, the important features of research design is uh, um, so they have a, a plan, so they have a plan uh, specific, the source and type of information relevant to the research project. You should have a plan. To what extent are you going to have the information? There's it here, you need to do that list for, you have to concentrate on information which has been published in various journal for the last three years, for the last one year. Specific to what extent is that one uh, uh, is very important. So again, the other is strategy. What strategy are you going to approach uh, when you're the analyzing the data? What approach are you going to use uh, when gathering and analyzing the data? For example, if you want the data, are you going to use the questionnaire? Are you going to use a forecast discussion? Are you going to do a symposium? Are you going to give a questionnaire? All those things are very relevant. Analyzing the data depends. Are you going to use a software? Are you going to use the central tendency of measure as a way of analyzing the data? Or at what extent? So the other one is the time and the budget. Very important for the purpose of a uh, time and budget of uh, so that you cannot stream and also the urgency of that uh, study. For example, a student does st studies which are stipulated in a period of time so that they can finish their course. So they have to be very careful when they are formulating the type of research and design they are doing. The other one is the uh, characteristics of uh, research is um, the the research project should be very systemic. All steps must be interrelated. 
interpreting all steps of doing research should be propagating. One thing depends, one activity leads to the other. It can propagate and form a series. So other one, it should be logic. It should be uh, agreeing to the uh, subscription of the logics of the day and scientifics and the other studies done somewhere else for the uh, study uh, to be of relevant. The other is empirical. The uh, study research uh, should have a characteristics of conclusion based on evidence and observation. So at the end of the day, the conclusion should match with your findings of your study should not, so your study should not move away from uh, the, the what you saw, depending on exactly what you're finding, whether they were good or wrong, or whether you expected them or not, that is the best for you so that your study can be uh, empirical. At this point, the researcher should be, the researcher should maintain the integrity, so they maintain uh, the integrity and the uh, LM. Um, royalty should be served. So other characteristics of research is that research should be objective. It must answer research questions. Should be able to answer the questions you are asking. It is should be replicable. It should be reproduced in another area so that it can be used in the community, can be consumed. If a research project is done and it is not consumed, then it is waste of money, it is not relevant. The other is it is should be breakable, be reproduced, be transmitted from point A to point B, from lazy, from a certain language to a local language, this is understandable. The quality control should be accurate measurement. The quality control should be accurate measurement. Are well designed and conducted research as potential applications. So, and uh, define your objectives. So, when you are defining your objectives, try to keep them as simple as possible. If they are complex. The whole project will be very complex, it will be very tiresome, it will be very uh, disturbing. And at the end of the day, you may end up even stopping the project in the process. So the more variables, the more difficulties. So ideally for a student, it is advisable to not do more than three types of variables as objectives. So use the opportunity available, get the help from various colleagues, your senior colleagues, from your researcher, from people who have experience in that field of uh, standing. So check to see if your idea is original when you're doing a literature, so that for the purpose to see, is it original? Are you the first person to start thinking like this or other people who have been thinking like you? And if they had been thinking like you, at what extent? From thinking from that time, is there a new technology which can make you think better like that? So you get articles, read so many articles, published articles, uh, professional journals, uh, all of them for the purpose of difference. So they are very important so that you'll be able to write them good. In that reading, you should establish gaps so that you can be able to fill that gaps. You see whether you are standing, is it going to fill a gaps which had been existing? Or is it going to validate something else which was done? Or is it going to propose? So find our obsolete measurement and results, side obsolete measurement and results, define objectives of the standing, define objectives of the standing. So uh, let us see briefly steps involved in doing a research. In summary, so you have to choose a subject, you have to choose a subject, you have to do a literature survey, you have to do a literature survey, you have to define and formulate of specific objectives, define and formulate of specific objectives, you prepare for synopsis, prepare for synopsis, uh, and um, in this case, and um, when you prepare for synopsis, that one thing it should have able to hold itself. That means this one 
uh, will bring to this. For example, after the experiment, mm -hmm. get the result, we will discuss the result. So it should be able to propagate itself. So you get the apparatus, the pair itself, the same experimental setup, the same. If it is an experiment, you should be able to design the experiment, preliminary experiment, to see whether it is going to work. And then you execute the project. You have to do accurate measurement and accurate and data collection. So you have to do data analysis and error compounding. Data analysis and error compounding. Then you have to do hypothesis testing and the verification of your study. You have to do result and discuss generalization and interpretation and drawing conclusions very relevant depending on what the type of audience you are expecting to be consuming your data. And, uh, for example, if you are going to do a study about conflict of wild animals and the human being in a certain locality, you have to know that your product and your data is going to be consumed by various types of people. So number one, your study will be consumed by the community, which will be consumed by the world drive and the government. And their perception in terms of world drive is very different. So depending on that one, how you prepare it depends a lot depending on your audience. So preparation of the project report and writing is very important. After all that, you have to prepare yourself to write a what? Write uh, a project. So uh, this is the process of doing the research in summary. So number one, you have to have questions, problems. You have to look for the questions. Uh, what is this disturbing me? What is the problem disturbing this community? Uh, this one you can get it from the producer, consumer, and policy makers. Okay, from the consumers, you involve them at that point. Then uh, other disciplines. Then you have the second one is you complete goals and objectives for these problems. I want to know this. I want to understand this. Then number three. Mm -hmm. Plan and design research, you plan and then design for it. How am I going to do this study? What am I going to use? At what time? At what extent? What will be my question here? What will be the target um, subject of study? Then, uh, number four, you generate research results. You generate uh, research results. You generate research results. Uh, number five, you interpret results and draw conclusions. So after that one, we have to write an article. For doing research, obviously, you have to write an article. And uh, the writing of article depends on the journal you are going to publish your research. And also depends on the academic institutions which is guiding the study. For example, various institutions have the specifications of doing uh, studies. You get a guideline, they have a guideline on how to write a study. You get the how you get a copy from the instructor, from the university, from the college, from the peer review of the journals, from the website of the journals where you intend to publish it. You prepare the article as per the instructions, you select a suitable, appetizing, uh, well communicating, a very brief uh, type of uh, title, you have to involve the, uh, to know, to tell the holders and the attributions, and the abstract is the summary of the study, then you write the highlights, the statement, the introduction, the materials and the methods to be used, the result and the discussions, conclusions, agreement, and the reference. So the holder and the ethic, Issues. So uh, when you are doing a study, there are uh, ethical considerations which have to be uh, considered when you are doing uh, ethical uh, doing research. Uh, for example, you have to respect people. You have to get consent. So you have to remember that. 
So another one is that the article should be free from plagiarism. Plagiarism is where you copy and paste other people's work and then you start saying it's your work. That's in your own work. And that is punishable by the law. So the follow the habits. So in summary, Alisa's report in general includes introduction and statement of the problem, review of relevant literature, statement of hypothesis and research objectives, theoretical issues, discussion of the research design, discussion and experimental design, discussion of measurement and data analysis, error compounding, presentation of results, discussions, conclusions, limitations, and implications. Yeah, suggestions for future work. So let's say uh, you have done a study, you 